But he seems to be hinting to me that I have forgotten a uh, collection thing in this room, though. So I'm just going to have a quick little look around uh, in here. Because there is something around that I may have missed. There's a puzzle there. There's a puzzle there, there is. Look at this puzzle. This looks sometimes an old journal. The cover is all faded. It says Expedition Log. Could this be the journal of one of the search parties that went out looking for Randall? There might be more information about the Mask of Chaos in here. Huh? There are still some photos stuck on the inside. Do you think there's a clue in there? No. Shut up, Luke. Jeez. Honestly. Ah, <sighs> what's this one? Faded photos. Uh, four aged photos have been stuck inside an old journal. They're faded and hard to make out, but they all show the same place and seem to be taken within a short space of time. In photo A, you can see a horse-drawn carriage travelling across the field. Okay, well... I can say with certainty that A and D were both taken... Before C and B. Wait, no. Yeah, A and D were both taken before C and B because of the lack of leaf. So if we actually order it slightly better, I think what we end up with is D, A, C, B. <laughs> and we can actually see the sun going down in the sky. Which would mean that it is in fact travelling... Wait. The sun on D and A are actually in the same place, I think. Which makes this even more weird. What does it want? Northwest, east, south. Ah, uh, it's heading north. Wait, no. The sun's rising in the east, sets in the west. So if the sun sets in the west, then it's heading south, right? But is it really going to re rely on information like that? Let's try it. This is how it's done. Success. All in a day's work. The sunset's in the west. Awesome. The fact that they're in this journal must be that they were taken journey during the search. If it's really a record from the search for Randall, maybe there's something about the mask of chaos in here. Maybe. Can we do it without talking? Because honestly, there's a lot of te text in this part of the game. Our search of the ruins for the lost boy continues. We use the inn by the oasis as our base of operations now. The ruins are a dark and ominous place, and no one would even dream of going in there without the enormous sum of money being offered as a reward. I've hardly been contributing out of the kindness of my own heart either. We were only a handful of men to begin with, but now we've turned into a full-blown expedition team. Men descend into the narrow pit by the oasis every day, with the prospect of finding the boy and striking it rich. We've had no luck so far, but that boy, Henry Lador, certainly has. The word is, he struck gold down here. A pile of treasure! big enough to make your eyes boggle. In fact, I've heard that's how he's been able to offer such an enormous reward for finding his friend. I found that room before you. I did. And so we press on, delving deeper and deeper into the ruins. Just recently we found a strange room with two mysterious pedestals. This chamber seems to be the final room of this underground complex, and we have created a scaffold to connect it to the world above, but we cannot go any further. Is that going to be the Mask of Chaos or the Mask of Order? Very possibly. Unless you've all grossly overlooked something. And our search for Randall Ascot is coming to an undeniable end. After all, it's been over a year now since the boy went missing. Soon, this will all be forgotten. Monte Dor was built upon forgotten ruins. And perhaps one day, Monte Dor will be forgotten too. Oh no! But Monte Dor will always live on in our hearts. Maybe. So they never found him. He mentions being based next to an oasis, so I suppose Monte Dor probably wasn't even a city yet. Do you think that Henry even stopped looking for Randall? Considering the state of this room, 
No, I don't think it ever stopped. Anyway, it looks as if we've just about exhausted this journal. Oh, thank God, Leighton, come back! Oh, God, thank you. So, have you two found anything? No, don't you start talking! Damn it! Yes, Professor, look! It's a log from an expedition that was searching for Randall! We also found a journal that Henry's been keeping! Good work, and I made a discovery of my own. Da da da! Wait, the Mask of Chaos? Does that mean Henry really was the Masked Gentleman all along? So all that about the Masked Peter Stone was just a lie? Well, not exactly. But then why would Henry hide the mask here? It wasn't Henry who hid it. Da da da! Who could it have been? Is that actually a Mask of Order? Is it the one the Masked Gentleman wants? Not quite. You see, I expected to find a replica of the Mask of Chaos here, a fake mask. But to my surprise, this turned out to be the genuine Mask of Chaos. How do you know? Maybe it's just a really good fake. Someone placed it here, but why? And is the Masked Gentleman even aware of this? The answers are yet unclear, but I know that there is a deep connection between these questions and the next miracle. I also found something else rather interesting. It's a map! That looks like it's the... the, the place, you know? The, the, the place? The place with the thing? <laughs> you know, obviously. <laughs> Is it Monte Dor? It doesn't look like anything what it does now. It doesn't look and Oh, it doesn't look anything like what it does now. <laughs> what a weird way to put it. Indeed, this is an old perspective map of how the town would look as development progressed. It also reveals a rather fascinating secret about Monte Dor. Does it seem as if these ruins are laid out rather deliberately? Now that you mention it, they do seem to form a pattern. I believe this explains why the masked gentleman has been so intent on finding the master of mask of order. Really? Why? Before I share my thoughts with you, I'd like to confirm my suspicions by finding some more evidence. According to Bloom, the masked gentleman is somewhere in this hotel. Mr. Mordaunt, are there any other rooms you think may be of interest to us? Actually, Professor, I just remembered that I have something I was asked to hold on to for you. Terribly sorry for the trouble, but would you mind returning to the lobby with me? No, I refuse! Wait, that's not what he said. God damn it. So, yeah, we're still missing a... Uh, a thing. You know, a, a thing. We are missing a... We never got a... Collection item here. Even though there very clearly was one. And I actually don't know where it is. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it. Where is... Where would it be? I'm pretty sure Bunny told me that there was a collection item and I never actually did pick it up. So there's something down here or anything? Oh, there we go. <laughs> a borrowed shovel. Alright, fun times. Back to the front desk then. Why not? Let's go. Here we are, Professor! This is the item we've been keeping for you! It's a book! It's the Wonderbook Book of Spells! Oh my god, by Miranda Goshawk! Amazing! Quick! We can learn to make things fly! I see. Is that a book? This is not just any book! Oh, Master Elves has left a message, let's see what it has to say. Once upon a time, in a small kingdom surrounded by woods, there were five children who were the worst of enemies. They spent their days enjoying their beautiful land, fishing in streams and running over the grassy fields. One day, they climbed the tallest hill in the kingdom, and at the very top of the hill, they found a dragon. Reading the words, Brave adventurer, you may claim me, on a sign nearby, the friends took the dragon and divided it equally. Four of them spent their share on items they wanted, but the fifth buried his in a beautiful place surrounded by green... paint. He wanted to be able to relive his adventure and hunt for treasure with his friends any time he wanted. He hoped he would always give the five friends a reason to be together. This boy knew that people changed when they grew up, but the buried treasure would always be his Zelda linked to the past. But <laughs> He returned from burying his treasure and fell asleep in a sunny spot by the window, completely content. The end. 
What a pointless story. Was that the whole book? <laughs> Jeez, that's a short book. How big was the font? Pretty crazy. This book. He's given us a children's story. A kingdom surrounded by woods. Five close friends. Treasure. Luke, do you know this story? No. I have a big book of fairy tales at home, but I don't remember this one. This story feels unfinished, though. It doesn't have a proper ending. It doesn't really have a proper middle, either. Maybe an allegory of sorts, perhaps about the masked gentleman himself. So what's he trying to tell us? That there's about to be a power cut. Oh my god. Who turned off the lights? No doubt this was the masked gentleman's handiwork. He has been waiting for us. And this book is an invitation. He wishes us to go find him. Okay. I'm not sure where you got all that from, Leighton, but okay. I'll believe you. Come now, we might still be able to stop his next miracle if we move quickly. Ready when you are, Professor! Hmm, I'm certain he's in this hotel somewhere. Perhaps the story contains a clue as to his whereabouts. Let's see. Story ends as the boy fell asleep in a sunny spot by the window. Okay, there must have been a place for him to lie down. Oh man, must be in one of the bedrooms. Whoa, in an inn? Somewhere with a bed? Wow, Luke, you've really narrowed it down. Well done, Luke. Shut up. Jesus. We can try searching in the guest rooms. The ones we're looking for should receive a lot of sun. A room with a large south-facing window, perhaps. I believe we have some rooms matching that description on the third floor. Would you care to see them? <coughs> so we've got three more rooms. Wait, Bunny? Did you just say I was missing a hint coin? Really? Oh my god, I was missing a hint coin. Thank you, Bunny. Um... Yeah, that wasn't marked. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. <laughs> well then, let us head off. I think I accidentally clicked on the Emerald Suite. So what's the next scam? Who should we fleece next? Frankie, my dear, you're almost as brainless as you are ugly. I'm having doubts about our partnership. What? Come on, Nock, don't say that. I said everything up perfectly, but you always find a way to mess things up. You're about as much as a tennis ball made of jelly. Apparently Narcissus has the same voice as Rufus from Chaos on Deponia. Oh, enough of that. Or were you looking for a good slap across the rashes? Uh, here now, both of you. I doubt that fighting will help the situation. Huh? Leighton, what a pleasant uh, intrusion. Might I ask what you're doing here in my hotel room? Well, who do you think you are, boss? You don't know in orders like this. You're disrupting our business strategy session. <laughs> how, how are we to afford to stay here with insufficient ill-gotten gains? <laughs> Talking like true villains. <laughs> By all means, continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, I didn't actually mean to come here. I'm going to be starting by going to the Ruby Suite. Because that is the suggested order, so I'm guessing that... Uh, we might want to go in that order. So the very sweet is actually empty, but it does contain a number of hint coins. So it's not entirely empty, you know. Behind that painting, there is a hint coin. It's pretty cool. On that ceiling fan, there is a hint coin. It's pretty cool. Uh, around about there, there is a hint coin somewhere, I think. Unless it's more like there. Hmm. Maybe there, maybe there, that, that's the one. I was, at, I was at the wrong end. There we go. And there. And I think that's actually roughly everything except for that collection item there. A wooden chap! <laughs> Got myself a wooden chap. How are we actually doing for hint for collection items now? I think we're only missing... Oh, we're missing a few still. We're missing five. Don't actually know if we're going to get all of them. Uh, purely because I'm pretty sure I've missed some, so oh well. Let us head now to the Sapphire Suite. There is absolutely nothing in the Ruby Suite of any interest for us. Although Bunny would like to tell me that there are hint coins here, which is pretty cool of him. Maybe they're actually in the exact same place. Oh my god, one of them was. <laughs> I don't think the others are, because there's one there. Uh, what about that one? That's certainly there. And uh, what about there? That seems like a good idea. Exactly. Wait, sh shut up, shut up. I understand where you're coming from, but it's definitely his false teeth. 
No. Yes. No, that's not. The yeah, it was. I was there. No, I think I know. I was. I was there. 